What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about mental math. Mental math is way too important when it comes to the ASVAB because you're gonna be calculating in literally every single math problem. So why would you go ahead, take the test, when you know you could be saving time on every single problem by just practicing a little bit every single day? And so this video, again, is dedicated to helping you on the test by one, lowering your anxiety because you're gonna be so confident in your calculating abilities, and number two, well, guess what? You're gonna be saving time. Saving time because if you, can sh if you can basically shave the time it takes you from a minute to let's say 20 seconds to calculate, that's 40 seconds that you get back. Every single problem is important on the ASVAB and that's why I made this video for you to tackle those problems of, well, how can I be more confident and how can I save time on the test? So let's get to it. So uh, in the App Store, this is again for iPhone only. So unfortunately, if you are using an Android, don't worry, I will try to find a similar app, but this one's only available in the App Store for iPhone. So the name of the app is called Mental Math Card Games and Tips. That's what you'll look up to find it. And so again, if you are watching this on YouTube, my name is Coach Anderson. You can always text me for ASVAB help or go to duranlearning.com to get my free materials like practice tests, free weekly classes, or um, you can also look at all of our blogs, study guides, things like that. So. Let's go ahead and get to business here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show you my screen. So when you go to the App Store, you're gonna look up Mental Math card games and tips. Honestly, you can just type in Mental Math. This is the most popular app. You know, you'll see it right there. It's the one that has those cards right there. Once you download it, open her up. So this is how to use it. These are the best practices. This is exactly how I use it to make sure that I am in tip top form for any operation. So notice on this screen here, you have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You also can click more cards and get mixed operations. So mix all the operations together. Roots, powers, percents, and binary, those are unlocked with a purchase. I believe it's $1.99 a month. So if that's something that you wanna look into to get the practice with percents and multiplying polynomials, totally up to you. I recommend it, but I'm not gonna tell you to pay for anything. So when you go back to the free stuff, honestly, this is enough. So let's go ahead and say we're going to addition. We have one star, two star, and three stars. Now this is pretty much just gonna show you, you know, more increasingly uh, big numbers. So with one star, you're looking at maybe two by two digits. With two stars, the results will probably be higher in numbers, you know, maybe like into the 90s, into the hundreds. And then three stars, you got some pretty big numbers to deal with. My goal is to have you get to three stars and be able to do that without much trouble at all. But we first have to start, with one star. So here's how you set up your games. You can go ahead and go over here when you hit set up game and you have the option between timing yourself and not timing yourself. So right there, time challenge and untimed. Timed and untimed. And you can change the number of problems that you're looking at when you're doing untimed. When it comes to the time challenge, you're doing as many questions as you can within two minutes, okay? So let's say I'm gonna do an untimed challenge. I'm gonna show the problems. And it's best to turn the voice recognition off. So this right here at the bottom, keep it off typically, all right? Because you don't want to say anything and then it accidentally takes your answer. So let's say I'm ready, I'm good to go, let's hit start. So there we go. We have 20 questions. It's going to show you how many you got right and wrong. Five plus 10, that's going to be 15. Check my work and we're good. And you can go ahead and use this to practice your abilities here to go as quickly as you can. And seriously, this is all about speed. Now at first, you might feel like you need to go a little slow because you have to think about it, and that's okay. But as you continue going and continue working, you'll be able to work faster and faster and faster. And so notice, one star is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You know, you have numbers that you can definitely recognize, and you wanna use this to practice those situations where you're looking at like, uh, you know, not four plus three. Let's see if we can get something a little more difficult. 11 plus 10, six plus three. I'm looking for something that is gonna take me to the next digit. So if I'm looking at, yeah, like three plus seven, knowing that's 10, or looking at eight plus five, knowing that's 13, you need to be able to look at these and say, hey, that's gonna go to the next digit, and I know exactly what it's gonna be. But once you're done with the untimed practice, check this out. So it says practice statistics, it tells you how many you got right, how many you got wrong. It even tells you your average speed, how long it takes you per question, which is pretty good because this is gonna help you check your progress and review your problems. Notice that those are locked, but again, if you pay the $1.99, you can track your progress, you can look at your stats, review the ones that you got incorrect. It'll even tell you what issues you have. 
So is it always adding nine? Or, oh, you typically have problems when you're adding a seven. It will tell you your issues. And so again, I'm not gonna tell you to buy anything, but it might be worth it to upgrade. So let's look at the time challenge now. I'm gonna look at two stars now. I'm gonna set up the game for a time challenge. And this is where you should be looking to always um, improve in, okay? This is where you're gonna see your improvement for real. So I'm gonna do two stars, I set it up as a time challenge, and here we go. 99 plus 92, what's that gonna be? That's 191. You need to be able to do these again at the snap of a finger. This is 97. Like, I'm at the point now with my mental math skills that all I gotta do is look at something and my mind will tell me what the answer is because I've gotten that much practice in. So remember, this is not luck, this is skill. You develop this, you earn this. So 85 plus 16, that's gonna be 101. Next up, we have 26 plus 78. Well, with mental math, you can look at that and say, hey, I'm going to add the 6 first to make 84, then add the 20 to make 104. And you can go ahead and give yourself all the credit in the world for working as quickly as you can. So with that said, you know, let's go ahead and say, you know, I finished this, blah, blah, blah. You have all of the other operations to go. Subtraction, multiplication, division. Your goal is to get as accurate as possible as many questions correct as possible without getting any wrong, and you wanna have the quickest time per question. You don't wanna take all the time in the world. The point of this is to increase your speed on the ASVAB. So, what is my biggest tip right here? Seriously, it's gonna be use my mental math videos. Coupling my mental math videos with this practice here is really gonna help you out. I also have more practice in my math bootcamp if you're in my program, and in my program, you'll see that you'll be able to practice decimals, practicing fractions with mental math, all this good stuff. So my program offers you way more than the app, but this app actually shows you your progress and your timing over time, which again, I recommend fully. So my goal for you, mixed ops, level two, you should be able to go to the time challenge, and this is where you should be able to kill this, kill this, kill this. Like I'm expecting you to be able to look at stuff like this, like 69 times eight. Using mental math, you can say, yo, that's 70 times eight, but then take away one of those eights. That's gonna be 560, 552. And you'll be able to do your mental math just like that. 19 minus eight, okay, great, that's gonna be 11. Next up, 14 plus 19, that's 33. And you wanna be able to exercise yourself in this way to really just keep getting better and better and better. So with that said, my ASVAB 40 people, again, my name is Anderson. I'm happy as always to be your ASVAB coach. And if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're not in my program, then you're going to want to do yourself a favor and shoot me a text. My number is, and let's go ahead and see if I can write this on the screen in some way, shape, or form. What you're going to see is in the next slide, you're going to see my phone number along with the program details. So go ahead, check that out. Go to the link in the description of this video. That way you can get everything you need to ace the ASVAB. Again, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. Let's ace the ASVAB.